In this video, we're going to be looking at the toolbar. Now, at the moment, you can see my toolbar is quite large, and I've got this search here, which is taking up lots of space. And I've got this uh, Cortana thing, which I never really use. Uh, the task view is very powerful. You can use that to actually see all of the documents and websites and things that you've been looking at in the past. So that's always useful to keep there. On this right in the corner as well, when you click on this, is a shortcut to actually take you to the desktop as well. You may not have known that. Uh, the uh, Windows inking space is good here to take uh, screenshots and things like this. But I'm going to optimize this taskbar a little bit for my teaching and learning. So I'm going to right click on it and you can see I've got show the Cortana button. I don't really use Cortana, so I'm going to switch that off. And right click again here. Now under the search, you can see it says show search box. What I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize that by having show search icon. And now you can see I've got a lot more real estate down the bottom to pin apps that I use on a regular basis. I won't be using Internet Explorer, so I'm going to unpin that. Uh, uh, the saw as well, I don't really use that that often, so I'm going to unpin that from the taskbar. And you can see I'm starting now to get lots of space down here, which is great for things that I will pin, like, for example, Outlook. I'll definitely pin Outlook, and I will definitely pin what's already Chrome, is already pinned into the taskbar down here. I also like to actually make these icons smaller. So under the taskbar settings, you can see here, here is where you can automatically hide it as well. So I'm going to use, use small taskbar buttons and I can get a lot of things down here at the bottom. That's great. And I'm going to minimize that. One of the things that I also like to do when you do minimize that, you don't see the date though, but if you just mouse over, you do get the date there. One of the things that I do like to have is a second date or second time on here. And if you go to the right click on there and go to adjust date and time, you can see you can set uh, time automatically if you want to and time zone automatically, which is fine. Uh, um, but what I am going to do is add another uh, show additional calendars. Here it is, we'll add clocks for different time zones. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm also going to show the clock for a London, because quite often I'm communicating with people in the UK, and I need to know what time it is there. So I'm just going to go to, what is the zero? And I'm going to call this one uh, UK. And I also communicate with people in Australia a lot with uh, Firefly. So they are going to be the other way. So let's see if I can find, find them. Um, they're going to be forward, aren't they? So it is going to be plus seven at the moment. Uh, there we go. And Adelaide are in there. In fact, they're in Melbourne, so I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to pop here. Um, Australia, it's fine. Okay, just going to check the date settings actually for the date settings that I want, so that's fine. Okay, that's fine. So now, when I mouse over here, you can see I've got my local time and I've got UK and Australia. Okay. I hope you found that useful.